Christ in us, the hope of glory. Colossians 1, 26. The mystery which has been hidden from ages and from generations, but now has been revealed to his saints. To them God willed to make known what are the riches of the glory of this mystery among the Gentiles, which is Christ in you, the hope of glory. One hundred things God said about healing. A lifetime of one hundred and twenty years. Genesis 6, 3. And the Lord said, My spirit shall not strive with man forever, for he is indeed flesh. Yet his days shall be one hundred and twenty years. You will live to a good old age. Genesis 15:15. 15, 15. Now, as for you, you shall go to your fathers in peace. You shall be buried at a good old age. The plague shall not destroy you. Exodus 12:13. Now the blood shall be a sign for you on the houses where you are. And when I see the blood, I will pass over you. And the plague shall not be on you to destroy you when I strike the land of Egypt. I am the Lord who heals you. Exodus 15:26 and said, If you diligently heed the voice of the Lord your God, and do what is right in His sight, give ear to His commandments, and keep all His statutes, I will put none of the diseases on you which I have brought on the Egyptians, for I am the Lord who heals you. I will take away sickness away from the midst of you. Exodus 23:25 So you shall serve the Lord your God, and he will bless your bread and your water. And I will take sickness away from the midst of you. No one shall suffer miscarriage or be barren in your land. I will fulfill the number of your days. You will not be afflicted. Deuteronomy 7.15 And the Lord will take away from you all sickness and will afflict you with none of the terrible diseases of Egypt, which you have known, but will lay them on all those who hate you. God will prolong your days. Deuteronomy 11.9 and that you may prolong your days in the land which the Lord swore to give your fathers, to them and their descendants, a land flowing with milk and honey. Your days and those of your children will be multiplied. Deuteronomy 11.21 that your days and the days of your children may be multiplied in the land of which the Lord swore to your fathers to give them, like the days of the heavens above the earth. Your strength 
shall be like iron and bronze. Deuteronomy 33.25 Your sandals shall be iron and bronze. As your days, so shall your strength be. God turned the curse into a blessing. Nehemiah 13.2 Because they had not met the children of Israel with bread and water, but hired Balaam against them to curse them. However, our God turned the curse into a blessing. The joy of the Lord is your strength. Nehemiah 8.10 Then he said to them, Go your way, eat the fat, drink the sweet, and send portions to those for whom nothing is prepared. For this day is holy to our Lord. Do not sorrow, for the joy of the Lord is your strength. You shall live to a full age. Job 5.26 You shall come to the grave at a full age, as a sheaf of grain ripens in its season. He shall return to the days of his youth. Job 33.24 then he is gracious to him, and says, Deliver him from going down to the pit. I have found a ransom. His flesh shall be young like a child's. He shall return to the days of his youth. The Lord will bless his people with peace. Psalm 29, 11. The Lord will give strength to his people. The Lord will bless his people with peace. Your flesh shall be young like a child's. Psalm 30, verse 1. I will extol you, O Lord, for you have lifted me up, and have not let my foes rejoice over me. O Lord, my God, I cried out to you, and you healed me. The Lord will preserve and keep alive. Psalm 41, 2 the Lord will preserve him and keep him alive, and he will be blessed on the earth. You will not deliver him to the will of his enemies. The Lord will strengthen him on his bed of illness. Psalm 41.3 the Lord will strengthen him on his bed of illness. You will sustain him on his sickbed. Hope in God Psalm 43, 5 Why are you cast down, O my soul? And why are you disquieted within me? Hope in God, for I shall yet praise him, the help of my countenance and my God. No evil shall befall you. Psalm 91, 10 No evil shall befall you, nor shall any plague come near your dwelling.
God will satisfy with long life. Psalm 91, 16. With long life I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. God heals all your diseases. Psalm 103, 3. Who forgives all your iniquities? Who heals all your diseases? He sent his word and healed them. Psalm 107, 20. He sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destructions. I will not die, but live. Psalm 118, verse 17. I shall not die, but live and declare the works of the Lord. God heals the brokenhearted. Psalm 147, verse 3. He heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. God's word will be strength to your bones. Proverbs 3, 8. It will be health to your flesh and strength to your bones. The years of your life will be many. Proverbs 4.10 Hear, my son, and receive my sayings, and the years of your life will be many. God gives health to our flesh. Proverbs 4.22 For they are life to those who find them, and health to all their flesh. A good report makes the bones healthy. Proverbs 15.30 The light of the eyes rejoices the heart, and a good report makes the bones healthy. Pleasant words heal the soul and bones. Proverbs 16, 24 Pleasant words are like a honeycomb, sweetness to the soul and health to the bones. A merry heart is like medicine. Proverbs 17.22 A merry heart does good, like medicine, but a broken spirit dries the bones. The yoke will be destroyed by the anointing oil. Isaiah 10.27 it shall come to pass in that day that his burden will be taken away from your shoulder and his yoke from your neck, and the yoke will be destroyed because of the anointing oil. Eyes will be healed. Isaiah 32, 3 the eyes of those who see will not be dim, and the ears of those who hear will listen. Also, the heart of the rash will understand knowledge, and the tongue of the stammerers will be ready to speak plainly. Ears shall be opened. Isaiah 35, 5 
Then the eyes of the blind shall be opened, and the ears of the deaf shall be unstopped. Then the lame shall leap like a deer, and the tongue of the dumb sing. For water shall burst forth in the wilderness, and streams in the desert. God will restore and make alive. Isaiah 38, 16 O Lord, by these things men live, and in all these things is the life of my spirit. So you will restore me and make me live. God is ready to save and heal. Isaiah 38, 20 The Lord was ready to save me. Therefore, we will sing my songs with stringed instruments all the days of our life in the house of the Lord. God gives power to the weak. Isaiah 40, 29 He gives power to the weak, and to those who have no might, He increases strength. God shall renew strength. Isaiah 40, 31 but those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. God upholds us. Isaiah 41.10 Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. God will carry us in our old age. Isaiah 46, 4 even to your old age, I am He, and even to gray hairs, I will carry you. I have made, and I will bear, even I will carry, and will deliver you. Jesus healed us on the cross. Isaiah 53, 4 Surely He has borne our pains and carried our sicknesses. Yet we esteemed Him stricken, smitten by God, and afflicted. By the stripes laid on Jesus, we were healed. Isaiah 53, 5 but he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement for our peace was upon him. And by his stripes we are healed. God says, I will heal him. Isaiah 57:19. I create the fruit of the lips, peace, peace to him who is far off, and to him who is near, says the Lord, and I will heal him. Your healing shall spring forth speedily. Isaiah 58, 8. 
Then your light shall break forth like the morning. Your healing shall spring forth speedily. And your righteousness shall go before you. The glory of the Lord shall be your rear guard. Jesus has been sent to heal the brokenhearted. Isaiah 61 1. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me, because the Lord has anointed me to preach good tidings to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of the prison to those who are bound. God will restore health. Jeremiah 30, 17 For I will restore health to you and heal you of your wounds, says the Lord because they called you an outcast, saying, This is Zion, no one seeks her. Jeremiah 33, 6 Behold, I will bring it health and healing. I will heal them and reveal to them the abundance of peace and truth. God will strengthen the sick. Ezekiel 34, 16 I will seek what was lost and bring back what was driven away. Bind up the broken and strengthen what was sick. But I will destroy the fat and the strong and feed them in judgment. God will put breath into your bones. Ezekiel 37, 5 Thus says the Lord God to these bones, Surely I will cause breath to enter into you, and you shall live. The waters shall be healed. Ezekiel 47, 9. And it shall be that every living thing that moves, wherever the rivers go, will live. There will be a great multitude of fish, because these waters go there, for they will be healed, and everything will live wherever the river goes. God says, Seek me and live. Amos 5 4. For thus says the Lord to the house of Israel, Seek me and live. Jesus will bring healing. Malachi 4 2. But to you who fear my name, the Son of Righteousness shall arise with healing in his wings, and you shall go out and grow fat like stall-fed calves. New Testament Jesus healed all kinds of sickness and disease. Matthew 4.23 And Jesus went about all Galilee, teaching in their synagogues, preaching the gospel of the kingdom, and healing all kinds of sickness and all kinds of disease among the people. Jesus healed the leper. Matthew 8.2 and behold, a leper came and worshipped him, saying, 
Lord, if you are willing, you can make me clean. Then Jesus put out his hand and touched him, saying, I am willing, be cleansed. Immediately his leprosy was cleansed. Jesus cast out the spirits and healed. Matthew 8, 16 When evening had come, they brought to him many who were demon-possessed. And he cast out with a word, and healed all who were sick, that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by Isaiah the prophet saying, He himself took our infirmities and bore our sicknesses. Jesus healed the blind. Matthew 9.29 Then he touched their eyes, saying, According to your faith, let it be to you. Jesus gave power to heal. Matthew 10, 1 And when he had called his twelve disciples to him, he gave them power over unclean spirits, to cast them out, and to heal all kinds of sickness and all kinds of disease. Jesus healed everyone. Matthew 12:15 But when Jesus knew it he withdrew from there and great multitudes followed him and he healed them all Jesus healed their sick Matthew 14:14 14, 14. And when Jesus went out he saw a great multitude, and he was moved with compassion for them, and healed their sick. They were healed when they touched the hem of Jesus' garment. Matthew 14.36 And begged him that they might only touch the hem of his garment. And as many as touched it were made perfectly well. The woman was healed by touching the clothes of Jesus. Mark 5.28 For she said, If only I may touch his clothes, I shall be made well. Immediately the fountain of her blood was dried up, and she felt in her body that she was healed of the affliction. Her faith in Jesus made her well. Mark 5.34 And he said to her, Daughter, your faith has made you well. Go in peace and be healed of your affliction. Jesus healed the deaf and mute. Mark 7.37 And they were astonished beyond measure, saying, He has done all things well. He makes both the deaf to hear and the mute to speak. All things are possible to him who believes. Mark 9.23 Jesus said to him, If you can believe, all things are possible to him who believes. Removing Mountains Mark 11.23 for assuredly I say to you, 
whoever says to this mountain, Be removed and be cast into the sea, and does not doubt in his heart, but believes that those things he says will be done, he will have whatever he says. Therefore I say to you, whatever things you ask when you pray, believe you receive them, and you will have them. Laying Hands on the Sick Mark 16, 18 They will take up serpents, and if they drink anything deadly, it will by no means hurt them. They will lay hands on the sick, and they will recover. Jesus came to heal the sick and brokenhearted. Luke 4.18 The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because He has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and recovery of sight to the blind, to set at liberty those who are oppressed. Jesus gave power over demons. Luke 9 1. Then he called his twelve disciples together and gave them power and authority over all demons and to cure all diseases. Jesus gave authority over the enemy. Luke 10 19. Behold, I give you the authority to trample on serpents and scorpions, and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Jesus sets the woman free. Luke 13, 12 But when Jesus saw her, he called her to him and said to her, Woman, you are loosed from your infirmity. Jesus came to give abundant life. John 10.10 10. The thief does not come except to steal and to kill and to destroy. I have come that they may have life, and that they may have it more abundantly. Jesus gives eternal life. John 11.25 Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me, though he may die, he shall live. As we ask in the name of Jesus, he will do it. John 14:14. 14, 14. If you ask anything in my name, I will do it. If we abide in Jesus, he will answer our prayer. John 15, 7. If you abide in me, and my words abide in you, you will ask what you desire, and it shall be done for you. By this my Father is glorified, that you bear much fruit, so you will be my disciples. Jesus said to ask in his name, and you will receive. John 16, 23 And in that day you will ask me nothing. Most assuredly, I say to you, whatever you ask the Father in my name, he will give you. 
Until now, you have asked nothing in my name. Ask, and you will receive, that your joy may be full. Faith in Jesus Faith in the name of Jesus heals. Acts 3.16 And His name, through faith in His name, has made this man strong, whom you see and know. Yes, the faith which comes through Him has given Him this perfect soundness in the presence of you all. God stretches out his hand to heal. Acts 4.30 By stretching out your hand to heal, and that signs and wonders may be done through the name of your holy servant, Jesus. Aeneas was healed instantly. Acts 934 And Peter said to him Aeneas Jesus the Christ heals you Arise and make your bed Then he arose immediately Jesus healed all who were oppressed Acts 10:38 how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and with power, who went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed by the devil, for God was with him. Healing with handkerchiefs or aprons. Acts 19.12 so that even handkerchiefs or aprons were brought from his body to the sick, and the diseases left them, and the evil spirits went out of them. Christ will give life to our bodies. Romans 8, 11. But if the spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, he who raised Christ from the dead will also give life to your mortal bodies through his spirit who dwells in you. The Holy Spirit makes intercession for us. Romans 8.26 Likewise, the Spirit also helps in our weaknesses, for we do not know what we should pray for, as we ought, but the Spirit himself makes intercession for us, with groanings which cannot be uttered. Now he who searches the hearts knows what the mind of the Spirit is, because he makes intercession for the saints according to the will of God. All things work together for good. Romans 8.28 And we know that all things work together for good to those who love God, to those who are called according to His purpose. Gifts of Healing 1 Corinthians 12.9 To another, faith by the same Spirit. To another, gifts of healing by the same Spirit. The Holy Spirit worked effectively in Peter and Paul and will do so in us. Galatians 
2.8 For he who worked effectively in Peter for the apostleship to the circumcised also worked effectively in me toward the Gentiles. Jesus became a curse to heal us. Galatians 3.13 Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law, having become a curse for us. For it is written, Cursed is everyone who hangs on a tree. Christians are sons of God. Galatians 3.26 For you are all sons of God through faith in Christ Jesus. For as many of you as were baptized into Christ have put on Christ. There is neither Jew nor Greek. There is neither slave nor free. There is neither male nor female, for you are all one in Christ Jesus. We are heirs of God through Christ. Galatians 4, 6 And because you are sons, God has sent forth the Spirit of His Son into your hearts crying out, Abba, Father. Therefore, you are no longer a slave, but a son. And if a son, then an heir of God through Christ. The immeasurable, unlimited, surpassing greatness of His power in us. Ephesians 1.19 And so that you can know and understand what is the immeasurable and unlimited and surpassing greatness of His power in and for us who believe, as demonstrated in the working of His mighty strength, which He exerted in Christ when he raised him from the dead and seated him at his own right hand in the heavenly places. The power that works in us. Ephesians 3.20 Now to him who, by in consequence of the action of his power that is at work within us, is able to carry out his purpose and do super abundantly far over and above all that we dare ask or think infinitely beyond our highest prayers, desires, thoughts, hopes, or dreams. That you may live long on earth. Ephesians 6, 3 That it may be well with you, and you may live long on the earth. Philippians 4, 13 I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Christ in us the hope of glory. Colossians 1.26 The mystery which has been hidden from ages and from generations, but now has been revealed to His saints. To them God willed to make known what are the riches of the glory of this mystery among the Gentiles, which is Christ in you, the hope of glory. Our whole spirit, soul, and body 
to be reserved whole, complete, and blameless. 1 Thessalonians 5.23 And may the God of peace himself sanctify you through and through, separate you from profane things, make you pure and wholly consecrated to God. And may your spirit and soul and body be preserved sound and complete and found blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Messiah. God is a rewarder of those who diligently seek Him. Hebrews 11.6 But without faith it is impossible to please Him. For he who comes to God must believe that He is, and that He is a rewarder of those who diligently seek Him. Jesus Christ is the same forever. Hebrews 13, 8 Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. The prayer of faith will save the sick. James 5.14 is anyone among you sick? Let him call for the elders of the church, and let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer of faith will save the sick, and the Lord will raise him up. And if he has committed sins, he will be forgiven. Confess your trespasses to one another, and pray for one another, that you may be healed. The effective, fervent prayer of a righteous man avails much. We were healed by the stripes of Jesus. 1 Peter 2.24 Who himself bore our sins in his own body on the tree, that we, having died to sins, might live for righteousness, by whose stripes you were healed. God's power gives us everything. 2 Peter 1.3 as His divine power has given us all things that pertain to life and godliness, through the knowledge of Him who called us by glory and virtue. God has given us exceedingly great and precious promises. 2 Peter 1.4 by which have been given to us exceedingly great and precious promises, that through these you may be partakers of the divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in this world through lust. Prosper and be in health as your soul prospers, 3 John 2 Beloved, I pray that you may prosper in all things and be in health just as your soul prospers.